In this video, we're gonna install some flush mount hood pins on my 86 square body, and I'll share a couple tricks and things to look out for so you don't make mistakes like I did. So there are two ways you can install hood pins. Today I'm using the arrow catch flush mount ones, but this will work for pretty much any hood pin style out there. First way is you're gonna take and mount your latch in your hood, then put your pin in and use your pin to set where you're gonna have your pin mount. The second way is to mount the pin, mark it with some grease and use that to figure out where you're gonna transfer to your hood. Now before you go cutting holes and making brackets, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to the inner structure of your hood and where you're gonna be mounting your pins. On my square body, it'd be nice to put the hood pins here. but then I'm gonna be drilling through and removing the main structure for this portion of the hood. So I'm probably gonna end up moving over. After carefully looking over the hood and the core support, I decided to put my pins along here, and that will have them line up on the hood right in this flat spot. Oh, there's a little washer stuck inside the nut. Now it's going on, all right. I got both pins installed, so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of grease, put it just on the tip. Both of these pins are installed really high, so we should be able to contact the bottom of the hood. Right there, and right there. You see our grease spot? That's right where our pins line up. Now we're just gonna take a small drill bit and poke through the hood in those spots. So we can see our hole in the hood. Now we can take and set our hood latch right on top of it, trace around it, cut it out. In the instructions, they do give you some dimensions, but they're in metric. So I'm gonna quick convert those to bald eagles. So from the center of where the hood pin comes through the hood to the center of this main hole is 0.55 inches and about a 0.8 inch diameter circle. So the pin is leaning back just a little bit and the hood is sloping the opposite direction. So I'm gonna favor my latches a little bit back to try to counteract that. Five point five inches. If you're doing this a tape measure, you can go to um, 9 sixteenths and you're only gonna be about 12 thou too far. Which isn't gonna matter at all. Back side measures about one and an eighth. Now the two main holes are through, so I'm gonna grab the jigsaw and very carefully come through here and trim out in between. I made it this far before I realized I made a mistake. Remember when I said the hood pins were on an angle and then the hood slope was the opposite way? And on top of that, I took and comped in the wrong direction. So now we're at the whiteboard and I'm gonna draw this out so you don't make the same mistake. So if this point here is our mounting hole, and we draw a line straight vertical from that, now we take our pin from our mounting hole, and it's on a sloping angle. The further we get from the mounting hole, the further offset from the center line the tip of our pin becomes. Now we add the hood on the opposite angle. It's gonna take that distance and exaggerate it just a little bit more when you close the hood all the way. So I had the hood pin set way high at this point where its actual mounting point was all the way down here. So this gave me an offset toward the back of the truck. And on top of that, I moved the hood latch back. So that added on to this distance 
making it off by a lot. So when you're transferring to the hood, make sure your hood pins are as low as they can be while still making contact. That'll make sure that this doesn't happen to you. With both of those mistakes in mind, I reset the height of the hood pin to just at the hood height, re-drilled it, now we're gonna try again on the second side. But that's why you watch these videos. You watch me make the mistakes and then you can do it right the first time. Okay, we're almost done. We're gonna drill the holes, get them bolted up, and then it's just some adjustments. The last thing to do is adjust the height of our pens. I've already adjusted the bump stop so the hood's at the right height, and I removed the factory latch. I am going to be keeping the safety and the spring so I have a little bit of preload and in case there is some kind of failure, the hood's not just going to flip up on me. Just like that, the hood pins are installed. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe so you can keep up to date on turning this old square body into a full-blown track truck. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.